This tutorial will explain how to define a functional knee joint using Visual 3D's built-in calculations, which were adapted from Schwartz and Rosamowski. For more information about functional joints and the appropriate movement tasks, please visit the Functional Joints page of the C-Motion Wiki. Before starting this tutorial, please note that the functional knee calculations will define the axis of rotation, but not the location on the axis, so additional landmarks will need to be projected onto the axis to define the knee center. Begin by loading a hybrid static file into the workspace. Once the file has been loaded into the workspace, select the Landmarks button and the Functional Joint tab. Select FR Knee and Create. Here the tracking targets for the parent and child segments of the right knee joint must be defined. Once the tracking targets have been defined, select Close tab. Select FL Knee and Create. Define the tracking targets for the parent and child segments of the left knee joint. Select Close tab. Select the Post Processing button from the menu and the Model Builder Advanced Post Processing pop-up dialog will appear. Select the Functional Joints tab and press the Add Motion File from Disk button. Select the Functional Knee Joint Motion File. Once the file has been loaded into Visual 3D, select the file and the Motion File will appear in the 3D viewer. The scroll bar may be used to select the start and end frames of the motion. Select the beginning of the right functional knee motion by going to frame 241, selecting the FR knee joint, and clicking Set Start Event to the current frame. The frame will appear in the Start Frame list. Select the end of the right knee motion by going to frame 631, selecting the functional right knee joint and clicking Set End Event to Current Frame. Select the beginning of the left knee motion by going to frame 733, selecting the functional left knee joint and clicking Set Start Event to Current Frame. Select the end of the left knee motion by going to frame 1149, selecting the functional left knee joint and clicking Set End Event to the Current Frame. Once a frame number appears for the start and end frames of the functional joints, select Compute All Landmarks and close the dialog box. The static trial will appear in the 3D viewer with four landmarks that define the axis of rotation for the left and right knees. Create two landmarks to define the medial lateral border of the right knee on the functional axis of rotation. Select the Landmarks tab and name the landmark right knee lateral. Set the starting point and ending point to the targets that define the right functional axis of rotation. Project the placed right lateral knee target onto the line. Select Apply and close the tab. Select the Add New Landmarks button and name the landmark right knee medial. Set the starting point and ending point to the targets that define the right functional axis of rotation. Project the placed right medial knee target onto the line. Create two targets to define the medial lateral border of the left knee on the functional axis of rotation. Select the Add New Landmarks button and name the landmark left knee lateral. Set the starting and ending points to the targets that define the left functional axis of rotation. Project the place left lateral knee target onto the line. Select Apply and close the tab. Select the Add New Landmarks button and name the landmark left knee medial. Set the starting point and ending point to the targets that define the left functional axis of rotation. Project the placed left medial knee target onto the line. The new landmarks will appear in the 3D viewer and may be used as the medial lateral borders of the knees in the model template. 